Well, if you guys have been paying attention, you may have noticed we got a lot of new information about Echo in the last few days. The biggest news being, we're getting the whole series dropped at one time. So that begs the question, why is Marvel Studios doing this, and what does it indicate about the future of the MCU? So let's take a couple minutes to dive in. Well, over the last couple of days, we've been getting a lot of news about Echo. Not only did we get a release date, oh, and this new logo from Alakwa Cox's Instagram, check that out. We found out the series will drop all at one time, versus the format Marvel traditionally uses. Now, they have done this once before with I Am Groot, but Echo will mark the first time any of these Marvel shows have been released all in a bunch and set up perfectly for binging. So this begs the big question of why Marvel Studios is doing this, and I think there could be multiple reasons. Now, some people have suggested the show could be a bit of a mess, but I don't really think that's true. But there is a possibility they release the whole show all at one time to get it done and over with, kind of like ripping off a band-aid. Now, all of this is assuming the show's not very good, and I don't believe that is the case. But that is a possibility of what's going on for Marvel Studios, and it would be effective... But I have to say, because Marvel's been cleaning up their slate, if the show was bad, why not just cancel it or convert it into a special presentation and compress the whole thing? The fact that it's getting released all at one time indicates to me Marvel has some faith in it, but this is one of the possibilities. Now, one of the other possibilities is Marvel is releasing it all at one time as a test. Because as many of you know, probably the best part of those Netflix shows was when they dropped, we all just binged the whole thing, sat sometimes for 12 or 13 hours to consume the whole show, and that was something that was pretty memorable to a lot of fans, and honestly something that has been missing with the Disney Plus shows. Several shows, like Moon Knight, I think would have been better consumed if released all at one time. So this might be an experiment for Marvel Studios to see how fans react and try to capture some of that same magic they got over on Netflix, but never have been able to achieve since the Disney Plus shows started. Not saying the Disney Plus shows aren't good, but the release format before did connect with fans and has been absent so far. Now, the final possibility could tie directly into the storyline and the characters involved in the series. We know this upcoming show will have a big part for Vincent D'Onofrio's Wilson Fisk, and Charlie Cox's Daredevil will also be a part of the series. Now, we all know Daredevil Born Again is currently in production in New York and is set to release in 2024. Echo will drop its full list of episodes on November the 29th, 2023, and if this was a six-episode series, it would carry directly into 2024, potentially crowding the new Marvel schedule for that year. We know Marvel is making some efforts to give things time to digest, and that does kind of suggest to me that something might be on the schedule for early in 2024, and with Echo landing where it is kind of as a prequel to Daredevil, I do have to wonder if Daredevil's release date has already been determined behind the scenes, and Echo is kind of a signal for when that'll happen. In addition to Daredevil, we also have Agatha, Coven of Chaos, and Iron Heart slated up for Marvel Studios, so they also could be holding that earlier position and an explanation on why Marvel dropped the show all at one time. Now, there's also the possibility of other Disney Plus series, like some Star Wars material, could be scheduled to drop early in the year, and Marvel is coordinating with Disney proper to make sure those things don't clash with each other. Now, regardless, I'm pretty excited about getting all of Echo on November the 29th. That series was a rather unexpected announcement spinning out of Hawkeye, and I think fans should be pretty excited for something new. I look forward to her backstory, the fate of Wilson Fisk, and exactly how she's going to tie into the rest of the MCU's street-level heroes.